Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and these are the square root of two gears. So square root of two gears is one of those challenges that I put to myself is that I wanted to have a gearing ratio of one to two. So the top square the, um, is making two terms, turns at the same time that the bottom square is making only one turn. So here we are back again and let's uh, repeat. You can convince yourself that I'm uh, returning every time at the same state and when the top square makes two turns the bottom square makes one turn. Works also the other way around of course. So the most obvious way to make this uh, um, one to two gearing ratio would be to have a set of bottom gears that would be one to one and top gears that would be two to, two to one. But I thought well I want to have it more balanced. So what is the most balanced way to make it? That is the square root of two. So here we have two identical sets uh, of gears that make a uh, square root of two gearing ratio and I'll show you uh, with my calipers. So I'm now going to measure the bottom gear. There we are. Wait. Yeah. And we see that the one on top, this small gear, the two small gears are the same size. Let's do it for the big gear as well. So we have the size of the big gear and here we see the other gear, big gear also has the same size. So apparently I've achieved the impossible because you know uh, the square root of two is an uh, irrational number. So my question to you is uh, what the hell have I been doing? Uh, how can this be? How can we have a square root of two gears? Thank you for watching.